Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this week's vlog, we're gonna be continuing the Christmas decorations, but I'm also gonna throw in some projects that kinda go hand in hand with that. For example, so in my dining room, I have like these two paintings right here, and then I have like this like random wooden art piece. Um, I wanna take that down because I'm just over that. I don't like that. And I want to hang up this old window pane and I've been trying to decide where I've been wanting to hang this and I think that's just going to be the perfect spot for it. So my thought is I want to hang it horizontally right there but I also want to mount like a shelf like right on top just to have another place to put decor and I just think it would look really pretty. So I ran over to my parents house which is just down the road and they were kind enough to give me um, these metal brackets and a piece of wood to to go on the brackets to use for my shelf. My parents have all kinds of stuff like that just laying around because they do a lot of like upcycling and redoing furniture and my mom is super crafty. So the hoarding craft supplies I inherited from her. So shout out to mom and dad for these metal brackets and the wooden shelf. Thanks a ton, you saved me a trip to Lowe's. <laughs> Anyways, I think I wanna get a wreath and hang a wreath from the window just because there is not a wreath in my dining room. Originally, I was gonna hang one on this, but I ended up finding this wooden sign at Walmart and I just thought it looked really cool right there. So I'm going to get a wreath to put in the center of that window. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna run a few errands. I'm gonna run to the Ross that's closest to my house and see if I get lucky and find another beautiful wreath there. And if Ross doesn't have it, then I'll just run next door to Target and see what they have. So we'll see. <laughs> All right guys, so I just got back home from running my errands. I was able to find a wreath at Ross. So let me show you guys that. So this is the wreath that I found at Ross. I really like that it has like a mixture of like pine needles and some other types that have like glitter on them and some other leaves. It also has the white bells that I have on this buffet table. So I also have some white bells on this um, buffet table over here. So when I saw that this one had white bells, I was like, oh, okay, that'll tie perfect in the dining room. And it has some pine cones on it, which I have like in every room and they have like a little bit of snow on them. And I just like that there's just like a touch of glitter that it's like, so simple and barely noticeable. So anyways, this wreath is going to hang in the middle of this window. I also found this really cute jar at Ross. Um, it has like a cute little buffalo chuck pattern on the bottom. It just says farm fresh Christmas trees and it's just a little canister or jar that you can put something in. I thought about taking the lid off and like putting some greenery in this, but I might just leave it like it is and I might put it on the shelf that I'm gonna be mounting above the window. All right, so moving right along. So then I went to Marshall's and I didn't find any like decorations at Marshall's. I just got some hand soaps. But like, look, I got this super cute hand soap, I'm gonna put that um, in my kitchen. And then I got this cute soap, I'm gonna put this one um, in the guest bathroom. But I did find a lot of stuff at my Target. I got this cute little ornament that was back in the Christmas section, it was like $3. So I think I'm gonna put this on like one of my little trays or like a tiered display or something. I got this cute little initial candle um, in the dollar section, it was like $3, which I'll probably put that on a tiered display or a tray or something also. And then I found this cute little black and white sled in the dollar spot. This was like $5. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So once I figure out where to put this, I'll show you guys where its new home is. And I have a thing for like cutesy little Christmas mugs. So I found this little gingerbread house mug. I thought that was so cute. It was like $5. And then I had to get the one that matched it, which is this cute little gingerbread girl. So adorable. And then I found this really pretty like crystal decanter that was also in the dollar spot. This was $5. They had this one and like one other one that had um, a round top, I think. But I thought this would look pretty like on top of my mantle somewhere. But I also love that even when Christmas is over, I can use this as a decoration on a shelf, my mantle on my coffee table, whatever. I love decorations that I can use throughout the year. And then I also had the idea of like sprucing up my little hot cocoa bar. Like typically if I have like cookies or candy, I'll have them in this jar. In this jar, I'll put some hot cocoa powder. And then in this jar, I typically keep all of the marshmallows in there. 
and then I just always have like straws, candy canes, and stuff like that. And then this is just for decoration, but it's just a mug with a little faux whip topper. And this is cute, but I just want to do more with it. So I also got these like little Grinch kisses. I thought those were super cute and I could put those like in a jar. And I saw these like in the Christmas candy section. They're chocolate stirring sticks, but they have like pieces of peppermint on them. And I thought these would like look really pretty like in a jar or something in the hot cocoa bar. And I found a bag of these like little snowflake marshmallows. And I thought those would be really pretty in a jar. So yeah, once I figure out how to set that up, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so it is the next day and I went ahead and ran by another Target and another Ross that's kind of close to my house, but it's not the one that I just went to. So at Target, um, obviously I had to get my Starbucks while I was there, but I found this cute little jar in their dollar section. It was like $3. So I'm probably gonna use this in this room somewhere. I'm just not sure where I'm gonna put this yet. And then I went over to Ross and I found these cute ornaments that I think I'll like put in a basket or something but I'm gonna put these in my dining room because in here I have more of like the farmhouse country kind of decor so I think these buffalo check ornaments will look really cute in here and then I also found these cute little wooden skis at Ross and it has like this floral and ribbon in the middle it was $13 but this is a pretty good size so I know that these are gonna go in here somewhere because they just match everything in here so well I also found this pretty white candle that has like some like iridescent opal glitter on it and it was only four dollars everywhere else that i've seen these candles they were way more than that so i couldn't pass that up because this would also look so good in here and then last but not least i got this adorable sign it's like a tall it looks like a tag just from the top of that and like the little hole that it has right there but i thought this sign was so pretty so i think i'm gonna stand this sign up like by my tree or something i'm not sure so i think after i find homes for all the stuff that i bought today i'm going to go work on that shelf that i'm going to be hanging above our window pane and the shelf already has like this dark espresso stain that almost looks black anyway on it so i just need to paint the underside of the shelf black and the raw edges of the wood black. So whenever that shelf's done drying, I will hang up the window and then we'll hang up the brackets and mount the shelf. All right guys, so we got the window mounted and the brackets attached to the shelf. So I've put a little command strip hook on the back of this wreath and I'm about to hang this up here. All right guys, so I added my wreath, put a cute little buffalo check bow in the middle to kind of tie it in with all the other buffalo check things in here. And then I put that Merry Christmas sign with one of the trees, tied a little bow around that. The jar from Ross is up there. And then some of this greenery that I had, I just put it in this metal milk can looking bucket next to a candle. And then one of the ornaments that we got from Ross. And I put the rest of those ornaments in this little basket here. I also decided to tie that same ribbon that I put on the wreath um, just throughout this garland on my buffet table in my dining room to just tie it all in. And I tied a little bow around the lantern that has the little trees and candles in it. But I think this looks so much better than this piece that was hanging up right there. And then there's that sign that I got from Ross. I just decided to put it up on my first step kind of leaned against that little post there and it just looks really cute next to the tree i put that decanter there with the candle those are the ornaments that we just did in my crafting video from last week i put the little skis on the side of my mantle right here i think that's super cute i put that little tree candle up on there and i put that little galvanized metal house ornament that i got from target in this little globe here and then that little snowflake jar, I just 
put on this table just for a little extra decoration. And I don't know if I showed you guys these, but my mom actually gave me these. She had these and they didn't really match with um, her decor that she has now. So when I was showing her my decorations, she was like, oh, these will look so much better in your living room. So shout out to my mom for hooking me up with these. I just decided to put these in front of my fireplace and I think they are so cute and pretty. Hey guys, so it is the next day. So for today's project, I'm gonna be hanging these snowflakes all over my my living room ceiling. Now I got these snowflakes at Walmart. They were very inexpensive and they're just like these really flimsy plastic snowflakes. They come in these two different shapes that I saw. And I think they were like originally for ornaments or something because they had silver string looped across the top. So I cut all of that string off and I cut varying lengths of fishing line and tied it to the snowflakes so that it gives the illusion that the snowflakes are falling. And because I'm using fishing line, my hope is that you're barely gonna see the string. So I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna set up my little step stool ladder and I'm gonna be painstakingly taping these to the ceiling. <laughs> All right guys, so a little uh, messy hair later and I have all of my snowflakes hanging from my ceiling. You guys see them all? I think they look so cool. Okay, so I'm standing on my stairs right now. Hopefully you guys can get a better view of them from up here. How pretty. I'm so extra, I know you guys. What do you guys think? I think it's super pretty. And they just kind of go with like the whole like winter wonderland kind of vibe I have going on in here. <laughs> I think my daughter is probably gonna enjoy these the most. So she's gonna be super surprised when she comes home and sees these. And that's always like the best. All right guys, so that's where I'm gonna leave you in today's vlog. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you like this video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other of my vlogs. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I, I, Coda.